I'm so happy to have as my guest today, Kathy Bernard. Kathy is editor of So Beautiful Magazine. Kathy, welcome to the show. Thank you, Martha. I'm happy to be here and to bring you a technique from the magazine. Um, this technique is our flip-flop ribbon trim, and it happens to be my technique, so oh, I'm Kathy, really proud of it. this is fun. It is fun. The little grow grain uh, ribbon. Yeah, I actually saw this on Ready to Wear, and I've uh, done it a little differently. I thought, oh, that could be done with grow grain ribbon. Oh, but, you cute. know, working out the steps and the ingenuity of how to get it done it was I was really not, not easy <laughs> it wasn't easy so that's why we want to show them how to do so it on the show cute. yeah it's fun <laughs> and it's a great way to pull in a solid color when you've got a lot of busy prints going on so first of all what you're gonna need is some uh, uh, 5 8 inch grow grain ribbon we used about five and a fourth yards for a 60 inch skirt and you're gonna start off sewing your front and back skirt together uh, on only one side seam so that you can lay out the skirt completely flat You'll start off with your ribbons at the side seam, butting the edges of the little ribbon pieces at the side seams. And we've cut two inch ribbons out of all the ribbons. You'll just cut them all, stack them up, put them in a bowl, and get started. Um, to keep your ribbons uh, to, uh, uh, adhered to your fabric, you can use wash away wonder tape or glue stick. You want to use the glue stick because it sticks better than the liquid glue basting product. So. Uh, you'll line that up along the bottom edge and then just continue to work your little ribbons raw edge to raw edge and you'll finish all of the ribbons on this side and all the ribbons on that side. So when you come to the end, the other end, to your side seam, if your, if your last ribbon just won't fit, then leave it off and measure over one uh, one half inch from the last edge of the ribbon and this trim the seam to fit. Then what you want to do is place a piece of tiger tape across these little tabs and base stitch one fourth inch from the edge. This tiger tape is essential. I went through this trying to sew this without tiger tape and I was telling somebody what a pain it was to fool with all those little tabs and how my presser foot was catching all of them and she said well why don't you just use tiger tape and I thought why did you think of that? And that's why we work out all these little steps for you to make it easier. So use your tiger tape and base stitch. Next, you'll want to measure up from the raw edge one inch and draw a line. Then you'll want to place your tiger tape on top of this and it'll just uh, stick to the ribbons only, not the fabric. You'll mark in every other tab a dot. You want to do this because if you're sewing 92 of these tabs, you'll go cross-eyed trying to keep up uh, with which ones to tack <laughs> down. And if you tack two next to each other and find that out down the line, you're gonna have to take the whole thing out. So you don't wanna do that. Just take the time to mark each tab. Now here's a very, very important part that you must do. You will have to fold under your bottom hem, uh, your bottom seam allowance. We're using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. When you do this, it shifts the ribbons down slightly so that you tack stitch them in the proper place. If you fail to do this and you tack them flat, then when you do get to the end and you add your band on, it's going to pucker that fabric. So be sure that you press this under first, then tack stitch. And that's not going to interfere with where you're tack stitching. I set the machine for a triple zigzag stitch set on zero so it would just tack in place. You'll tack, skip the next one, tack, skip and tack. Then what you want to do before you, re when you get all of the uh, tabs properly tacked, you'll uh, keep this tiger tape down and you'll snip all of these little trail threads right here on the front and on the back. So what you'll be left with is just a little dot tack stitch. So then you'll remove your tiger tape once all that's done and go on to the next step. Then you'll want to put a uh, basting, uh, a glue based, um, uh, a stick, glue based stick or wash away wonder tape here and you're going to fold each of these down and press it on itself and as you can see I've done that here. Place another piece of tiger tape and base stitch across the bottom. Once you've done that and all of your loops are stitched and based in place, you'll have your skirt band. I've used a six inch band folded in half to make a three inch band. Place that on top making your raw edges even and stitch your seam. We've used a 3 8 inch seam here and finish the edge with a serger and then when you're done you'll flip that skirt band down and you'll flip the the seam up towards the skirt and that will naturally make these tabs fall down and the tabs that are tacked to the skirt will stay up and you'll just steam that with an, a hot iron and you're finished. 
Isn't that great? I know that you want to go home and do this. So, oh, <laughs> I think this is fun. You could put it in any seam. Do you or know around something? The neckline? I think that is yeah. fun and it's happy. Mm -hmm. And this adorable little summer sundress. Yes. I think. And it's just a fun, fun it play is a, outfit. It is a happy technique. That's it a is good a word. Happy it's happy technique. Right. Thank you so much, Kathy. You're welcome. And now I have some hand embroidery to share with you.